Today, Hezbollah fired an anti-tank missile from Lebanon, hitting a, a Greek Orthodox church in northern Israel, wounding two Israeli Christians. When IDF troops arrived to evacuate the wounded, Hezbollah terrorists fired another missile at the church, wounding nine of our soldiers. Shortly after Hezbollah deliberately fired at the church, Hezbollah then fired at Israel from next to a mosque in Lebanon. We shared clear video evidence of this so that Hezbollah's violations of international law are, not, are on full display to the world. Iran backed Hezbollah. In Lebanon follows the same extremist and dangerous ideology as Hamas's. Firing from holy sites in Lebanon and Gaza, firing at holy sites across Israel. Hezbollah's committing war crimes by indiscriminately attacking places of worship just like Hamas. Hezbollah is, Hezbollah is risking the stability of the region for the sake of Hamas. Hezbollah started attacking Israel on October 7th and it's been increasing its attacks ever since. The IDF has been responding and will continue to respond. Hezbollah is trying to drag the country of Lebanon and the region into this war that Hamas started. If Hezbollah continues, they will bear the consequences and the responsibility for the outcome. An unnecessary war aimed at fulfilling an ISIS ideology that could bring an unwanted destruction to the people of Lebanon in this war they don't deserve, a war that the entire region doesn't deserve. We are preparing for all scenarios. Should a diplomatic solution not be found to Hezbollah's constant violations of UN Secret Security Council Resolution 1701, Hezbollah is a threat to Israel, Lebanon, and the entire region.